Bowman here from BW1 and in this video I want to show you one of the coolest features of Windows 10 and that is multiple desktops. I think this is one of the key features, one of the newer features that I'm glad Microsoft was finally included in the operating system and I want to show you guys what it's all about. So to pretty much get multiple desktops going here, if you look here at the bottom next to your search icon you'll see this little task view icon. If you click on that it'll bring up your, not only your tasks, but your multiple desktops here. And I have three of them running here, which are pretty cool. And you can kind of switch between them as you go along. So going from desktop one, desktop two, to desktop three, back to desktop one. Easily click on them like that. You can X out of them just like this. You can add them just by hitting add a desktop, hitting the plus sign, add as many as you want. And it's just easy as that. Now, the way this works is, is that with either single monitor or dual monitor mode, everything is treated as one desktop. So you can even see on my second screen, which I don't think you guys can see. I'll try to throw up a picture of it. You'll see that, uh, that it'll show what's going on in the second screen as well, too. But it's not a separate desktop. Each desktop contains a multiple monitor setup. So that's something to keep in mind. We'll keep this at three here. And we'll just leave it like that. We'll actually switch back to the first desktop here. Okay. So now let's run some applications. So I'll, on this desktop, I want to open up Internet Explorer and I want to open up the File Explorer as well, too. And let's see, we'll leave those two there. And then I'm going to open up, go up here. I'm going to go to the second desktop and I just want to open up, uh, let's just say Adobe Reader for right now. I just want to open up Adobe Reader. I want to read some PDFs, apparently, some documents. So I'll leave that there in that desktop. And in third desktop, I'll open up uh, VLC player because I want to watch some movies or some videos or something like that here. And I'll actually open up Google Chrome as well, too. All right. And we'll go ahead over to our favorite website, bw1.com, while we're at it over here. And there you go. So now we have multiple applications open up in different desktops, and we can kind of switch between them depending on the type of workflow that we're doing. Now, there's some pretty cool tricks you can do with that. Now, if I hit this multiple desktop icon again, or they call it task view, you, for one, can see all the tasks that are running within the desktops, and you can just kind of highlight over like that, and you'll go switch between them, and to see which, see, to see which uh, applications are running, you can hit the X button here, and it'll close out of that application. But a cool thing here is that you can move applications between different desktops. So let's say I want VLC Media Player. I want to move that over to desktop one. All I got to do is right-click it, and hit desktop one and it moves over just like that and let's say I want to switch the file explorer here to desktop three I right click over it hit move to hit desktop three it switches it right over now it's over there on desktop three pretty simple pretty easy that's pretty cool I really I literally like the ability to kind of switch between those I like that I wish I had a little bit more of an elegant way I'm pretty sure on a touch touch enabled uh, device is gonna be a little bit different from running on a desktop here and I'm just right clicking it let's go ahead and head back into here Let's see. Now, another interesting thing to notice here is to look here at the bottom on your taskbar. Now, on the current desktop that you're on, you're going to see the running applications. You're going to see the little sort of the little icon pop up sort of, I guess, square, clear square that they put around the icon and let you know the, the application is running. Now, you see under some of these other applications, you can hover over them and you can see right underneath them, there's a little small line there letting you know that the application is open, but it's open under an different desktop. So if I actually click on File Explorer, it's going to jump me to the desktop that that particular application is on. So it's multitasking but without without taking up resources and opening up three different versions of each application, which you, which would be all, using up a lot of resources. Instead, it's allowing you to kind of jump between them and then move them as you need to if you want to move them to different desktops. As you can see, what we've done here. I want to move that back to desktop three just as easily, and I can move my file explorer back. Let's move that on back to desktop one here and bada bing bada boom done just like that so that's kind of the way that the multitasking there and that's the way sort of multiple desktops work is giving you the ability to have several different workflows and be able to switch between them and keep the one that you want to see at that time but then also at the same time allow you to save some resources not open up multiple versions of these applications all at the same time this allows you just to move the applications between the desktops very seamlessly here a couple of things i would like to see microsoft add with this is i would like to see them add some color coding to this to have an idea being able to put a shade or a color or some type of identifier for the desktops not just one two three maybe a color shade maybe you know red maybe a red icon for one desktop and you can see the red shade underneath even even when you're not on that, you'll see in that little line, it'll be a, a shade of red or a shade of blue, you know, just to kind of differentiate between all of them to make things a little bit easier. But that in itself is multiple desktops, pretty easy, pretty simple. 
And so this is Bowman here from BW1. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, post them below. Let me know what you think. You want to see some other new things here in Windows 10 as I'm sort of going through the technical preview here. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps us out. Definitely share it around as well, too, if you think it will be useful for someone. And be sure to check out our main website and all our social networks that are available. The link is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go to the next one.